Hi guys, how's it going? Hi guys, hi guys. I feel like you can't even make a joke like that anymore. What's up guys, welcome back. Long time no see, I'm back. I'm back from Nam. Uh, Nam was awesome. California, I'm from California, so it's, it's like a homecoming for me every year. Got to hang out with a bunch of cool people, had a blast, just enjoyed myself. Then I spent a few weeks hanging out with friends and family afterwards, since, like I prefaced before, I'm from California. So it was great. It was awesome. But I'm happy to be home. I missed my family. I missed my kids. I missed my wife, even though nobody really missed me very much. Today we're here to make another, wait for it, metal tone. Yes, we're making another metal tone. Something different for a change. I like to keep my content fresh and new. So that's what we're doing today. But we are doing something a little bit different. We're making a metal tone from scratch using the Rev Gen Red Amp model. So there you go. I'm not using the badunk, everybody. I've had a lot of requests to make a metal tone with the Rev Gen model. And um, I'm stalling because I don't remember the name of what it's, I know it's a, a Rev Generator. The Line 6 Rev Gen Red amp model, which is based off the Rev Generator 120. If you're into guitars, metal riffage, mixing, and everything in between, hit subscribe and follow along. Now, before we dive in, I just want to let you know that I'm going to be making this tone, this Helix tone, available to you on my Patreon. Um, I have a few different tiers, one of which I provide every month a new Helix tone. We have one up for January. This one is going to be posted up for February. So keep an eye out for that. Head over to my Patreon. Thank you so much for those of you who have supported already. And if you guys do decide to support me over there on Patreon, thank you so very much. It means the world to me. Every little bit helps towards growing the channel. So thanks a lot. I need these so I can hear. I'll put them on the right way though. All right, so. That's the one I made with it. We're gonna make it from scratch. So let's go here. I am using my Helix rack today. Like always, I put my input gate on and bring my DK down to 10 milliseconds. I always I, I always start with an impulse response because I don't want to hear the sound of a raw amp. And um, in my experimenting and playing, I ended up using this own hammer. Oh, eh. in my experimenting and playing, I ended up using this own hammer impulse. It is the OH four twelve ENG twelve C plus V thirty. JS. That's a mouthful. It's basically an angle. It's basically an angle 412 uh, with vintage 30s. And off the top of my head, I don't remember what the 12C means. The JS stands for John Simons. He's the mastermind behind Sonic Drive Studios, and he works closely with Own Hammer, if not works for Own Hammer. I don't know those intimate details, but John is a great dude. His channel is so awesome. He has so much gear that he tests and does videos on. Basically, if you're looking for a piece of gear, go to head over to John's channel. I'm sure he's made a video using it. Anyway, this is his personal mix of this Angle 412. This is the one I ended up using. So, long story short, that's the one I'm using. The amp. Line 6 Badunk. Just kidding. Rev Gen Red. And you know your boy's going to put that Scream 808. All right, so first and foremost, with my Scream 808, the gain is set to zero. The level is set to 10. And I'm going to go out on a limb and start with the tone set to nine. Now, let's see what we have to start with. Uh, 
I mean, it sounds, dude, it sounds good right there. A little bit fat and muddy on the bottom end, but. Anyway, let's do a little tweaking. Um, I'm gonna start off with the sag, with, with, with several of the last kind of uh, tones I've been using. I've been bumping the sag up to about six, and it kind of makes it feel and react a little bit more like a real amp. And the bias X sort of tightens it up, so I'm gonna jack that up a little bit too. I have some notes that I made. So please forgive me for referencing my notes. 5.5. Uh, subtle differences. Subtle, a combination of subtle differences will make up this tone, ladies and gentlemen. Um, like I said, right off the bat, I know that it's a little bit bass heavy. So I'm going to bring this resonance down. Where is it? to about one and already it already tightened it up i know that Now I know I brought the aggression down to zero. Seems to lose a little bit of excitement, but it tightens it up. So I'm gonna stick with that and try and gain some of that back elsewhere. Um, Base, I'm gonna bring down to about three and a half, 3.6. Okay, um, if I remember correctly, I brought the mid up just a, a bit. We're getting somewhere now. So what I did is I brought the mid up to 6.9. Right now we have the, uh, let's bring the drive up. Uh, in my notes, I had it to five, but this morning when I was playing with it, I had it closer to six. So let's see how that sounds. I like it. Um, so yeah, we got the... For redundancy's sake, bass is 3.6, the mid is 6.9. The treble, I am going to bring up, let's bring it up to eight. Hear how that sounds. Let's bring the presence up, see if we can get some of that excitement back. Seven and a half. There we go, some of that aggression. appreciate if my notes didn't close. All right, boys. Uh, I'm going to bring the presence up a little bit more to eight. So it's got that aggression that I like. This is sounding pretty sick.
but I do hear a little bit of that high end fizz as the haters like to call it. So, I mean, honestly guys, I think I'm, I'm pretty thrilled with how this sounds right already. Um, a quick overview again, drive, we brought it up to 5.9. The bass is 3.6. The mid is 6.9. The treble is eight. The presence is 7.9. The channel volume is, now it's loud. This is sounding even better than last night. Last night I was playing on my, my PRS Tremonti with the Fishmans and it sounded good. I was like, this is great. As I was kind of like making notes and developing it. Now that I'm playing with my Solar A1.6 Artist, this is the Solar A1.6 Artist I'm with the Evertune Bridge. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this guitar. This is my favorite guitar and um, you should get one. If you want to just be able to pick up your guitar and play and have it sound good and have it be in tune and also look like a super metal dude, badass, MF, get a Solar guitar. If you don't have a Solar guitar, then eh. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Let's tame some of that high end because I know a lot of you guys are the high end, that high end, it's too, it's too much house, it's too much. Too I like it. I like it aggressive. So we're in the IR block and we're going to bring that high cut down so that I'm, I'm going to bring it down to 10K. Let's bring it down to 11K. Here, I'll, I'll let a chord ring out and kind of play with it. So I still feel like I'm getting that aggression, that high end sizzle, the good sizzle, but I'm getting rid of a lot of that, that, that fuzz that you can't really determine what's happening, but you just know it's noise and it might be a little bit unpleasing and it might be fizzy for some of you. I brought, I brought the high cut down what, all the way down to 10.7K and I'm, I'm pleased and I'm happy with that. I still have the excitement and high end, but I'm losing some of that harshness that you guys uh, cry about. Boom. Metal tone. I think it sounds sick. What do you guys think? I know you agree. You should agree. So for shits, let's just run through a couple IRs just to see how it sounds. What I'm going to do is make this tone available to my Patreon subscribers. Yes. That's what I'm doing now. Every month, if you are a Patreon member, if you support me and my little baby channel, um, I am supplying, I think I have one up there so far. This is going to be February's. I have one up for January. It's a modern metal tone using just the Line 6 stock cabs. Like you don't have to get an IR. This one I'm going to make available for February. Um, but I can't supply the, the impulse, obviously, because they're own hammer and I can't give away that shit for free, guys. You gotta go buy them. So uh, let's just go through a few and see how it sounds with different IRs. We won't change anything but the cab. 
Um, let's go to... So this is a uh, 412 Eddie Van Halen 4x12, or EVH. <laughs> A little bit of a mid, low mid bump sounds sounds pretty good. We lose some of that high end though. Um, when you change an IR, if you have the high cut on and you change the IR, the high cut stays on. So that's something that you might want to adjust depending on what IR you're using. Remember that if you're using, you're going to ultimately end up using a different IR at some point. Remember that I have the high cut set, so you're going to want to play with that. And if it doesn't sound right, don't come crying at me because you didn't do it right. Uh, we're going to use this Owen Hammer 412 Trad V30. It's a, tr a traditional, uh, a mess, tr I think. Is more of a modern, kind of a mid-centric tone to it. Still sounds good, just a little bit more mid-centric. This is um, out of one of their new, Own Hammer's new uh, True Stereo packs. It's not a stereo IR that I'm using. I'm using the left channel, but um, this pocket makes sounds good. I've been using it with the Badunk a lot lately. But for this tone, it kind of it lacks a little bit of that high end excitement, a little too much mid. So let's go to uh, let's go to another one. Let's try a four twelve, kind of a mic combo. Go through these. See, that's really dark with the with the two twelve. Sorry, no, nope, this is a four twelve. I'm an idiot. This is a mic blend of the four one four and a four twenty one. Not vibing on it much. This is a vibe of the 421 with the, a vibe, a vibe. This is a mix of the 421 and a 414. A little bit, sounds a little bit cooler. This is a blend of 414 and a 57. Dope. There, I can hear some of that high end hissiness come back. So let's bring this down a little bit. So, as you can see, if you get a good tone, it's still going to sound pretty damn good with different IRs, and you can just tweak to taste. Whoo, that's spicy. That's why we had the high that high cut down to like 10K, 11K. I'm liking how this feels. It's a little bit more, um, <clears throat> not so modern sounding, a little bit more on the scooped end if I, if I can be so bold, but I know we have quite a bit of mids, but I think, you know, a lot of the tone is, 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 is I'm gonna say is like 17 times. A lot of the tone is dictated by the impulse you're using and the cab you're using in real life as well, so. Kind of has a little bit more 90s, 2000 metal, straight up metal tone. Anyways, before I noodle around <clears throat> and make this video longer than it needs to be, again, I'm gonna make this tone available on my Patreon. Every month, I'm going to have a new Helix Tone available for download. Um, sometimes I'll be using the stock Line 6 cabs. Other times I'm going to be using, as an example, this one will be made available for February. This has an own hammer impulse, but it will not include that impulse because I can't give away the impulses. So you guys are going to have to use your own or substitute in one of the, the Line 6 ones. But I would highly recommend heading to own hammer, picking one of your favorite cabs, and, and grabbing a pack uh, and, and 
give them a give them a try because I've tried just about all of the IRs, and I'm not saying any of those other IR companies are bad or that they don't sound good, but there's something far more pleasing to my ear with the own hammer ones. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm not sponsored by them. I just love their stuff. I love the guys over there. They're really doing everything they can to, to make the best sounding impulses. So anyway, it'll be available on my Patreon. Those of you who have uh, supported me so far, I'm, I thank you very much. It means the world to me I'm trying to grow the channel, trying to make it bigger. I want to be able to put more content out for you guys more regularly. And, um, you know, the little bit of income kind of helps pay for the website and hosting and, you know, all the little things that come along with having a YouTube channel, trying to make it work. You know, if I can at least make enough to cover all those expenses, I'm happy. I'm happy. I don't need to become a, a thousandaire from this stuff. So all appropriate links down below in the description, including links to my music. And if you dig what I'm putting down, hit subscribe and follow along. Thanks so much for watching, guys. It's good to be back. I miss making videos for you. Tentatively, we are gonna pick back up on the live, the live streams, the live hangouts on Sundays. So look, look for that, keep your eye out for that. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you in the next one.